Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. The new anti-sneeze Rinso presents Grand Central Station. All aboard for easier wash days, whiter washes, you're on the right track. When you use the new anti-sneeze rinse -off. Ladies, it's not too late to catch the rinse Express for quicker, easier wash days. So hop on board. Join the millions of rinse users who soak the dirt out of their soiled clothes, often in just ten minutes, with new anti-sneeze rinse -off. Give up all that back-breaking rubbing and scrubbing. A short soaking plus a few quick rubs on extra soiled places give you really whiter and brighter washes with less work and with safety. Yes, with complete safety, even for all washable colors. Not only safe for them, but leaves them looking fresh and bright wash after wash. If you'd like to see how fresh and bright, just ask your grocer for a big green package of anti-sneeze rinse tomorrow. You'll save time, save work, save money, and save yourself from wash day hay fever. <laughs> As a bullet seeks its target, shining rails in every part of our great country are aimed at Grand Central Station, part of the nation's greatest city. Drawn by the magnetic force of the fantastic metropolis, day and night, great trains rush toward the Hudson River, sweep down its eastern bank for 140 miles, flash briefly by the long red wall of tenement houses south of 125th Street, dive with a roar into the two-and-one-half-mile tunnel which burrows beneath the glitter and swank of Park Avenue, and then... Grand Central Station, crossroads of a million private lives, gigantic stage on which are played a thousand dramas daily. As the late evening local, just 40 minutes out of Grand Central, pulled into the ivy-covered station at Flowerton, the elderly man in the first seat picked up a large dome-shaped parcel, nodded to the conductor, and got off. The strangely old-fashioned professional cut of his clothes makes a curious contrast with the bright green cover of the parcel which he carries rather gingerly by a brass ring at its top. He walks slowly, carefully, to the white frame house with the bright gold lettering on the window, Cyrus Westover, Justice of the Peace. Unlocking the door, he cautiously hangs the big dome-shaped parcel on a bracket near the window, removes the cover, and at once a raucous voice begins shouting... <laughs> The city doctor says there's nothing at all the matter with you. <laughs> yeah, well, if you eat too much, you just got to suffer with the, uh, with the consequences. <laughs> huh? Oh, well, all right, all right. If it's water you want, I'll get it for you. <laughs> Feels good to be home again, doesn't it, Martha? <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, cut that out, I... Certainly hope nobody will bother us tonight. Well, I suppose it's bedtime, so I guess we'll be... Uh, might have noticed. Five minutes after I get home, back to the old grind. Get... All right, all right. Don't be so confounded impatient. Probably got no business getting married anyhow. Most of you kids haven't. It's all right. I'm coming. Hold your horses. Here we go again, Martin. Uh, Are you Dr. Westover? Well, we want to get married. Yeah. Come in, come in. Sure thing, thanks. Uh, 
he was afraid maybe you wasn't home. Well, then what can I do for you? Are you uh, Mr. Westover, the Justice of the Peace? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Well, uh, we want to get married. <laughs> this is Myrtle. <laughs> How do you do? Sit down, Thompson. Thanks, sir. Sit down, Myrtle. You two will open? No, my, my pa and ma died when I was a kid. I can get married without nobody to care about it. And Myrtle here, her folks live out in Nebraska. Yeah, they got a farm out in Nebraska. It's all right on account I wrote them about, Mike. You got a job, Mike? Oh, sure. I'm a shipping clerk at the Harper Company. And I'm a candy wrapper at Pepper House and Collins. I'm going to keep on working or Mike gets more money. I, I think the least a wife can do is help out her husband who gets enough saved up for the both of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. And... Um, you got your license? Oh, you, you bet. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. Uh, uh, this, this, this. Seems to be in order. You need two witnesses. Huh? Two, two witnesses? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> quiet, 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 quiet. Shoot, I, don't, don't, don't mind that parrot. Nice parrot. He's all right. Now, I'll, I'll take care of the witnesses. You uh, just uh, fill out this form. Okay. Hey, why, why'd you pound the wall like that, mister? Huh? <laughs> the Callahans will be here in a minute, all six of them. <laughs> they never miss a wedding or a funeral. See that pretty? Hardly nothing. I like a plant in the window, don't you, Mike? Yeah. yeah geranium, isn't it? Uh-huh. Uh, things grow good for you. <laughs> yeah. I could have got one for the other window, too, only I think maybe we shouldn't spend too much till we get you ready. Well, there's nothing else we can do till I get more dough. Oh, it shouldn't take so long. You ain't like the other fellow in the shipping room. He's smart, Mike. Mr. Harper said so himself, didn't he? Yeah, Mr. Harper likes me already. He treats me swell. It was nice of him to say what he did when you told him he was going to get married. Hey, he's a swell guy. I'll never forget the way he said it. He said, uh, <clears throat> Mike, uh, he always calls me Mike. <laughs> he said, um, Mike, you're doing a smart thing getting married, and I want you to remember that I'm your friend. I'm going to promote you, push you ahead whenever you show me you're ready for something better. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's just the way he said it. <laughs> oh, when you get promoted, we, we can maybe move in a bigger place. Oh, our own house, maybe, with brass in front. You think so? And, and maybe some trees. You can't tell. I always say you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Well, well, if it ain't Mr. Newlywed coming back to work. <laughs> oh, nothing. Yeah, things are certainly going to be different now. Yeah. Yeah, no more pool of Joe's. Ah, no more of that for you. Who's going to stop me playing pool of Joe's? The little woman, that's who. Ah, you don't know nothing about it. Ah, I've seen guys get married before, ain't I? Oh, shut up and give me a hand with this crate. Yeah? Well, before you go getting ambitious and bossing me around, you better go see the boss. What for? The county me wants to see you, that's what for. Said for you to see him as soon as you get in. What do you suppose he wants? Well, how should I know? Maybe he wants to give you a wedding present. Yeah, you better get going. Well, I can't figure why he wants to see me so soon after our other talk. Oh, come in, Mike. Uh, Lefty said you wanted to see me. Yes, I did. Uh, sit down. <clears throat> oh, thanks. Have a nice honeymoon? Yes, sir. <laughs> I want to thank you for letting me off. It's all right. I, uh... I suppose you're wondering why I had you come to my office. Yes, sir, I was kind of wondering about it. I thought you might guess. Anyway, I'll come straight to the point. For the past several weeks, a lot of our merchandise has been disappearing. Somebody stole it, you think? We know somebody stole it. Gee, who do you suppose done it? I was coming to that. We traced the loss to the shipping room. You mean Lefty? Mike? Last week, we had the biggest loss. Just before you got married. Mr. Harper, you don't think I've been swiping this stuff? I've always thought a great deal of you, Mike. I told you once I was your friend, and I meant it. If I wasn't, I'd fire you right here and now. I might even 
have you arrested? Well, Mr. Harper, I haven't been taking any stuff. I feel pretty bad just you thinking I do it. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not firing you, and I'm not having you arrested. Oh. You're going to have what many men never get, a second chance. I'll expect to see the missing stock back in the shipping room tomorrow morning. That's all, Mike. Well, what kind of a second chance is that? I haven't had any first chance, and you're asking me to return something I never took. That's all, Mike, at least for the present. Well, you... Yes, sir. Matter. Get the gate. What makes you think so? Yeah, the way you look, that's so. all. I didn't get the gate not yet. Anyway, I just wonder. But for the love of Pete, quit staring at me like that. What did I do? I ain't saying nothing yet, see? Only if some stuff ain't back here in the shipping room tomorrow morning, there's going to be trouble. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of trouble for a guy named Lefty. I don't know what you're talking about. You must be nuts. Maybe. Remember what I said, that's all. Just think over what I said. Mike, that's terrible. Oh, why, it's like as if Mr. Harper called you a thief right to your face. Oh, Mr. Harper's all right. I've been framed, that's all. Mm, looks to me like Lefty done it. Well, sure, Lefty done it. Who do you think done it? Well, you don't have to holler at me like I was dirt under your feet or something. Why do you talk so dumb? Anybody could tell Lefty did it. Mr. Harper couldn't have yelled at him. Oh, I don't see why that's any different. You talk like you ain't sure I didn't swipe the stuff. I didn't say nothing of the kind. Don't oh, quit arguing with me all the time. Well, I ain't arguing at all, Mike. I, I just... I heard what you said. I got ears, haven't I? never thought you'd talk to me in that tone of voice. You certainly ain't a gentleman like before we were married. Well, you... Oh, I'm sorry, kid. I guess my nerves are all shut. This thing's serious. I might be arrested if the stuff isn't back in the morning. The reason I've been so jumpy. Oh, I know you didn't do it, Mike. See, you, you wouldn't steal even a pin if it didn't belong to you. Well, I shouldn't have talked like I did. No, I know how it is. But everything's going to come out all right. Sure. Maybe this stuff will be there in the morning. Maybe Mr. Harper might even apologize. Yeah, he might be so sorry he'll give me a raise. You know, just to show how sorry he is. And then we can move into a house. Yeah, with a lawn in front. Oh, won't it be wonderful? That's like I always say. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it ain't here. It ain't nowhere around. I've been looking for it. You've been looking for what? The stuff you stole. That's what. You're wild. crazy. I didn't steal nothing. Look, Lefty, I got to go see the boss in a minute. You know what he's going to do when I see him? What? He's going to fire me. Have me arrested, maybe, for something you did. That's a lie. I ain't stole nothing. Remember what I told you yesterday. You ain't going to get away with it. You got something coming, and you're going to get it. Don't forget what I'm telling you. You're going to get it. Yeah, that's big talk, all right. Well, I'll be waiting. The curtain falls. In a moment, our play will continue. Come in, Mike. Yes, sir. Nothing to say? No, sir. This morning, the first thing I did was go through the shipping room. I didn't find what I'd hoped to find. I never took anything, Mr. Harper, so how could I bring it back? I'm sorry, Mike. There isn't any reason for you to be sorry, Mr. Harper. You think I'm a thief. Well, go on and have me arrested. That's what I'd do if I was sitting where you are. That's what I'd do. I'd call a cop. Well, go on. Why don't you call one? No. No, I'm not going to have you arrested. You're not? No. As far as I'm concerned, you're a free man. I'm not going to press any charges, but naturally you can't remain in our employ. Yeah. Naturally. Take my advice and don't be bitter about this. It's liable to lead you into trouble. Ah, don't worry none about me. I guess that's all, Mike. 
Good luck to you. Yeah, I guess that's all. Thanks. Oh, uh, one thing more. Don't leave through the shipping room. I'd rather you didn't pass Lefty on the way out. Well, it ain't so bad, but it couldn't be worse. Gee, what if I wasn't working either? I don't want no wife supporting me. Well, it's the least a wife can do when a husband's out of a job. I don't want no white wife supporting me, I tell you. Well, you'll get a job. It's only for a little while. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. You might go out tomorrow and get a job first thing. The Harper Company ain't the only pebble on the beach. I was in line for a raise at the Harper Company. I'd, I'd have got it, too. No, I haven't even got a job on account of been framed by Lefty. You'll get work, Mike. Some place where there ain't no Lefty. All on account of Lefty, I haven't got a job. Don't keep thinking of Lefty, Mike. It, it's not good to keep thinking of Lefty. Well, if it wasn't for Lefty, I'd have got a raise. No, I haven't even got a job. Don't talk like that, Mike. Look, forget Lefty. Let's just talk about tomorrow and, and, and getting a job. Sure, I'll get something. Tomorrow I might get a better job. You don't know. Sure. You don't know. Tomorrow you, you might get something better. You didn't find anything? No. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Maybe you'll get a break tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. It's been five weeks. Always tomorrow I'll get a break. That ain't so long. Gee, Mike, you shouldn't be impatient. We gotta eat, don't we? Well, I'm working, ain't I? So what? So we can eat anyhow. And maybe if I walk to work and back, why, we can save enough for the rent. You ain't walking to work for no rent. It's only for a little while, just till you get a job. Start walking's healthy. You ain't walking to work. Honest, Mike, I won't mind. I said you ain't walking to work to pay no rent. I'll get a job and I'll pay the rent. Well, well sure you will, but, but now it won't hurt any if I keep things going, will it? I tell you, I don't want no wife supporting me. Well, you keep saying that just because you're stubborn. Well, arguing, arguing, all the time arguing. Can't you leave a guy alone? But I wasn't arguing. I only said you're stubborn because you won't let me help out for a little oh, while. Oh, you wasn't arguing. You only said I'm stubborn. Will you take me for a chump or something? What kind of talk is that? I'm saying you're stubborn ain't arguing. I only want oh, to help cut you. cut it out. I'm sick of talking about it. I'm sick of looking for a job. I'm sick of everything. You shouldn't talk like that, Mike. No, I shouldn't be looking for a job, either. I shouldn't have got blamed for something I never did. You said you wasn't going to talk about that no more. What am I going to do? Sit around thinking about it till I go nuts? Lefty frame me. That's why I'm looking for a job. Lefty's a thief and he's working about me. I'm just a guy who never stole nothing and look at me. Well, don't you worry none about Lefty. Someday when you're working, Lefty will be sitting in jail. That's the way things go, Mike. It ain't the way things go with me. I'm the guy that gets it in the neck. That's me. <laughs> Lefty will get his. You wait and see. Well, Lefty's going to get his. All right. Don't talk like that, Mike. I don't like it when you talk like that. Who's saying that about Lefty getting his? Reminded me of something. What do you mean? I promised Lefty something before I left Harper's. I promised him something. You've got to forget about Lefty. That's what you promised me. You're going to get in trouble if you don't. I promised him plenty of trouble. Last time I seen him, I said there's going to be plenty of trouble for a guy named Lefty. Mike, where are you going? Don't, Mike. Please don't. You'll get in trouble. He says, well, I'll be waiting. Just like that, he says. Where are you going, Mike? He'll be at Joe's pool room. Sure, that's where he'll be. Mike, you'll get in trouble. Don't do it. Please don't do it. You'll end up in trouble. <laughs> Michael Brady, a visitor for you. Hello, Mike. Here I am in jail, like you said. The guy that gets it in the neck, that's me. Well, I tried to tell you, Mike, I tried to stop you, but you wouldn't listen. Lefty's the guy that ought to be here in jail, not me. Well, maybe Lefty should be in jail, but you ain't got a kick coming. What do you mean I ain't got a kick coming? I'm in jail, ain't I? Sure. Where'd you expect to be? After throwing Lefty all over Joe's pool hall. Yeah. Yeah, that lefty ain't feeling so good today. <laughs> you act like you're proud of what you've done. You ought to be ashamed. You should have been there. I sure let him have it. 
I had a laugh at Joe, waving his arms and yelling all over the place. You think it was Joe getting beat up instead of Lefty? Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself getting yourself in jail. I couldn't help it, Myrtle. I had to do it. I just had her. Oh, fine chance you've got to get in a job now. Sitting here, behind bars. Yeah, this kind of stuff I knew in. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm only your wife. I don't count for nothing, I guess. Well, sure you do, honey. I'll make it up to you. Honest, don't get me a job as soon as I get out of here. See if I don't. You'll be a jailbird, and who's going to hire you? Tell me that. I ain't going to be in long. The judge only give me 30 days. Huh. Well, what's good behavior? I'll be out sooner than that. One day or 30 days, you'll still be a jailbird. Oh, it's an awful thing for a wife to think about. Myrtle, you ain't going to walk out on me, are you? No. No, I'm not. I married you for better or worse, and I'll stick by you. It sure looks like it ain't getting any better. Hello? Hello. Is Brady? Yeah, th- yeah, this is her. Who's speaking? This is Mr. Harper. Is your husband at home? M- Mr. Harper? Yes. Is Mike there? I'd like to speak to him. Uh, uh, Mike? You, you, you want to you speak to Mike? Yes. Is he there? Oh, uh, well, Mike, uh... Well, no, Mike, Mike ain't home right now. Well, when do you expect him? Well, I, I, I don't know exactly. Uh, is, is it anything special, Mr. Harper? Well, yes, I'd uh, like him to come back to work if he's interested. Oh, uh, well, well, I'm sure he'd be interested. I, uh, I'll tell him. I, I'm sure he'd be interested. All right. Fine. Tell him he can start tomorrow morning. T- t- tomorrow morning? You mean you want him to, to, to start tomorrow morning? I look for him at the regular time. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. The, the regular time. Well. Uh, Start tomorrow morning. You expect me to break out of jail? Well, can't you tell them how it is? Maybe they'll let you out. Yeah, sure, sure. They'll let me out all right. I can just see him doing it. Well, what are we going to do? Well, now, wait a minute. My time ain't up. I just got here only a minute ago. What's the idea? I didn't say your time was up, lady. There's a guy out there to see Brady. Got to see me. Who is it? Well, how do I know? All I know is the guy sprung in. He wants to see you. He sprung in? What's that? He got him out. Said the magic words, and the door of this clink swings wide open for you. You mean I can go? I'm free for good? I don't know whether it's for good or not, but you're free. Get going. Oh, well, it's like a miracle. That's what it is. A I miracle. never. Hello, Mike. I'm well, glad to see you. Hello, Mrs. Brady. Hello, Mr. Gosh, Harper. Mr. Harper, it's you. Certainly. Who did you think it was? We uh, wasn't sure. Oh, it was sure swell of you to get me out. I'm sure was, Mr. Not Harper. at all. As soon as Lefty told me where you were, I rushed right down here. Lefty told you, huh? Oh, that guy's got the loosest left. Yes. <laughs> it seems you, uh, you gave him quite a trimming. <laughs> was he hurt bad? Well, he didn't come to work the next morning, and that was his finish. His finish? Exactly. You see, I'd actually been suspicious of Lefty for a long time. That's good. You were suspicious of Lefty, but I'm the guy you fired. I had to. I figured if I did that, Lefty would eventually give himself away. Then I'd have enough evidence to press charges against him. He gave himself away, huh? Well, really, Mike gave him away by forcing him to be absent. I should say, unexpected to be absent. Well, I can tell you're giving me credit for something, but I don't get it. I simply took that opportunity to make a search. We found a bundle of stolen merchandise, neatly wrapped and hidden away under a pile of packing material, in one of the storerooms. We planned to smuggle it out that morning on one of the trucks. Oh, ain't it exciting? Why, you're as good as a detective, Mr. Harper. You flatter me. And, Mike, I... I hope you'll forgive me for making you the temporary goat. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Harper. Maybe I can make it up to you when you get back to work. Did you hear what Mr. Harper said to you? He's going to give you a raise. Yeah, and I'm going to be boss of the shipping department. Can you picture that? When the guys come in every morning, they'll say, Hello, boss. That'll be me. It's it, it, like a dream or a storybook or something. Yeah, I can see that house now. It's getting closer all the time. Oh, I'm so happy, Mom. I think I'm going to cry. Yep. And in front, we're going to have a big lawn. You know, like a park where you and the kids can play around. Yeah. How many kids did you think of that, Oh, I don't know exactly. Only there ain't no use letting a big lawn go to waste, you see. Well, 
No. And if there ain't, is there? No, it's like I always say. You never know what's going to happen to me. Just a minute, we'll tell you the names of tonight's Grand Central Station stars. But first, how many of you do this as many as 21 times a week? <laughs> Ladies, if you sneeze when you pour soap into your dishpan, you're probably using one of the many soaps that still contain as much as a quarter pound of fine, sneezy soap dust. Switch to new Addy Sneeze Rinso, the only soap of its type that's 98% free of it. You will not only stop dishpan hay fever... But you'll clean up your dishes quick as a wink. You'll protect your hands from getting all rough and red. And you'll do your dishes for less than a cent a day. Yes, you'll do all that by just saying to your grocer tomorrow... But please hand me one of those big green packages up there. That Andy Sneeze Rinso. Better make it two packages. One for the kitchen sink, the other for your tub or washer. And now I have important news for all you Grand Central Station fans. Starting next week, this program will come to you on Wednesdays... On another network, I'll repeat that. Starting next week, July 9th, Grand Central Station will be broadcast on another network on Wednesday night. See your local paper for exact time and station. Be sure to tune in next Wednesday night when we'll have one of the most exciting stories ever broadcast from Grand Central Station. Grand Central Station until next Wednesday evening at a new time over another network. Listen for the train whistle and hear the new Andy Sneeze Rinso present another complete and original radio drama featuring Broadway stars. Tonight's play, We Want to Get Married, was written by Gene Palmhurst. Tonight's cast, Myrtle, played by Francis Cheney. Mike, by Paul Stewart. Mr. Harper, Bennett Kilpack. Lefty, Tom Tully. And Cyrus Westover, played by Carl Swenson. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a very important announcement, which I believe will bring an immediate chuckle to everyone listening in tonight. Here it is. America's greatest comic section family, Bringing Up Father, goes on the air next Tuesday evening, one week from tonight, at the same time, brought to you by the makers of Rinso. This beloved American classic, Bringing Up Father, featuring Jiggs and Maggie, will be portrayed for your enjoyment by a brilliant cast of radio's best-known stars. At last, you will hear and meet not only lovable Jiggs and Maggie, but all the delightful characters you've known so long. Dinty Moore, Wacky Dugan, Nora, and all the others. So don't forget the premiere performance next Tuesday evening of the great new radio comedy, Bringing a Party. We know that you and your family will want to be on hand to say, Welcome, Jigs and Maggie. And remember, it's the same time and same station. This is Tom Shirley bidding you good evening for the makers of the new anti-sneeze, Rinso. All aboard. Four easier wash days, whiter washes, you're on the right track when you use the new anti-sneeze rinse off. <laughs> Service in Chicago.